Good morning, everybody. Hi, everybody. So you guys, we've been talking about different prophets of the Bible for several weeks now, and today is our last lesson on the prophets. Now, just a reminder, a prophet is somebody who God chose to speak to so that that person in turn could then tell all the world all about him. Now, also, the prophets are the ones that have written different books of the Bible, which are what we know and believe in today. In Sunday school today, the lesson for the kids is about a priest named Zechariah. God chose Zechariah to be one of his prophets so that he could deliver important messages from God. So just a reminder to you guys, Zechariah, along with all those other prophets we've been talking about, had visions that God gave them that were like dreams, but they were awake. That's just crazy. I can't imagine. <laughs> so you guys, Zechariah actually had eight different visions, but we're just going to talk about a couple today. And the first one is about a flying scroll. Oh, well, that scroll <laughs> went crazy. I wonder, oh if, I wonder if it went crazy like that in his vision. So it's similar to this one, but it was huge, like the size of the big billboards that you mm -hmm. see driving down the road, or maybe even bigger. Who knows? A flying scroll? Mm -hmm. It almost sounded like you said flying squirrel. Well, that would be fun, too. <laughs> God sure is creative in trying to get his point across. So, Debbie, what did the scroll say? Well, it actually said no cheating on one side and no lying on the other side. Mm -hmm. So, you see, the whole reason God did that was that let Zechariah know that he needed to let his people know that they better stop sinning. And you know, not only were they cheating and lying, but they were also starting to take God for granted. And quite frankly, God was getting mad about that. That's so sad. God also gave Zechariah visions about things that would happen in the future. Now this one, it really makes my heart flutter. God told Zechariah that a very special king would be coming to help God's people. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 says, City of Zion, be full of joy. See, your king comes to you. He has won the victory. He is humble and riding on a donkey. Hmm. Okay, guys, let's think about that one. Hmm. The king who's humble and riding on a donkey. Who could that possibly be? Ding, ding, ding. Of course, it's Jesus. You're absolutely right. Now, you guys, because Zachariah's prophecies came true, that gives us hope that we are forgiven when we, when we have sins and that we can trust in Jesus. So, Debbie, did you know that he wrote this in a book almost 500 years before Jesus actually came? Wow, that's that a long time. Yes. So the Bible has a total of 66 books in it. One of the books of, in the Bible is called Zechariah, the guy we're talking about today, and it's a book of encouragement for God's people to remember his promises and to look towards the future. God doesn't just want us to read all of these books in the Bible, he wants us to apply and how he wants us to live our lives. God wants us to learn and use the Bible so that we can know him. He also wants us to use the Bible because it has His Word in it and it will help us to love Him and others a whole lot better. You're absolutely right. You guys, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for sending prophets to let the world know everything about you so that they could then make the Bible so that we can continue to learn more and more about you each and every day. We love you. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, you guys. Bye, Bye everyone.